Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's to Row. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have come anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for February 7th through February 14th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant others, or someone else that's in your love space. So keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, most honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my intense, passionate, loving, sweet, kind... Scorpios, show me what's going on with my Scorp spirit guides. Show me what's going on with my Scorpios. Let's see, Scorps, what you got going on. Justice. Ace of Wands. Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords. And Queen of Cups. Huh. Scorpio. Scorpio. Who did you leave at the altar? Who did you leave at the altar? Who did you say... You thought you were going to get married too, but you, but, mm, you did not get married. Because for me, the Justice's card is all about, is about legality. It's also about balance too. But it's about legality. It's something here. Someone that you left at the altar. Someone that you thought you were going to be married to or that you had decided you were going to be married to. But something happened. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to tell you. I know you walked away from this. Because... And because this is my legality card, it's my marriage card as well. It's um, something to do with legality, something to do with marriage. Um, because here's this Ace of Wands here. And the Ace of Wands is all about a new beginning because whomever this was, you walked away for a new beginning. And let me tell you why I know you walked away from this. Because at the end of your, um, excuse me, in the middle of your reading is that Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups means you're walking away from something. You have walked away from a marriage uh, a proposal or someone that you thought you were going to be married to. You have walked away from this person. I don't know why. Hopefully the spirit guides will show me as I continue to read. But you have walked away from a marriage. You have walked away from someone. Now you have the Ace of Swords next. And I think you walked away because you um, were, um, I think you were playing with them a little bit. When I say playing with them, you were, um, the Ace of Swords is all about truth. You were not being truthful. You were not being truthful. They thought that you uh, loved them, but you were not being truthful with yourself and with them. With yourself and with them, you were not being truthful. So you walked away. You walked away. But now we have this Queen of Cups on the end here. Not quite sure. That old Queen of Cups is all about emotions. Queen of Cups is an energy of just pure love. Um, someone that loves you. Like I said, Queen of Cups... They know, they know where people's demons are and they still love them. Because, see, you were not being truthful, truthful to someone with this situation, but you had the truth. You knew that you were not being truthful, but you have this Queen of Cups energy for someone else. You have the Queen of Cups energy for someone else. So you weren't really in love with this person, I don't think. I think you were just kind of. Uh, I think that they had all the boxes checked, maybe, you know, whatever, uh, money, you know, good to you, yada, yada, yada. But you weren't in love with them. You weren't in love with them because you walked away from, and here's this Ace of Swords for, um, which is all about truth, because you are in love. Your emotions are with someone else. And you and thank goodness you didn't marry them because your emotions are with someone else. Someone else. Let's see here. If this is your read, sit back, relax. Because this is an interesting read for Scorpio. Let's see what is going on, Scorp. Why is this justice card here for you, Scorpio? Show me, spirit guys. Why is it justice card here for Scorpio? Ah, you got the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is all about meetings, getting togethers, um, having a good time. Well, I don't know if you can say having a good time. But it's all about um, teamwork makes the dream work. This person here... That's what they were good with, maybe. Um, whatever you wanted, they gave you, maybe. Maybe whenever you were with them, you had teamwork with them. You um, 
I don't know, you were having a good time with them, but your heart, like I said, is with someone else. Here's the um, justice call with teamwork, and it could mean that you were just having meetings, getting together with them about a possible marriage, but it didn't work out. So let's see why this Ace of Wands is here. Why is this new beginning here? Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is this new beginning here? Show me why the Ace of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit Guys. Six of Pentacles. Okay. So you're trying to pull back. You're trying to pull back. This, um... <laughs> I think that they have been, either they have been very generous to you or you have been very generous to them. And the Ace of Wands is like a new beginning because you don't want to, um, it's almost like you finally said, I don't want to take advantage of you anymore. You know, because Six of Pentacles is a balance. It's a balance. You see the um, equilibrium um, that she's holding in her hand, the, the measure, the weights? It's all about balance. And this is very much about a balance. This is about a new beginning, though, because you don't want them, you don't want to take um, advantage of them anymore and i do believe you may have been taking advantage of them scorpio just just what i read scorp so let's see why the eight of cups is here show me spirit guys why is the eight of cups here for scorpios show me spirit guys why did scorpios walk why did they walk away from this situation ship that they were in let's see it's it's ten of wands it was burdensome to you it was burdensome to you this person like i said it was um, you were faking it you tried to fake it didn't you <laughs> You try to fake it because the Ten of Wands is the ending of um, a very uh, uh, burdensome relationship. And when it was, when I say it was burdensome, I think it was more burdensome on you because you really weren't in it to win it. You know, you, you put up, you played the game. You know, everybody plays the fool sometimes. And you played the game with this situation. But this person, whomever this was that you said you might be marrying or whatever, you weren't for real on this. You weren't for real because it was burdensome to you. Uh, but you ended the burden. That's why that walk away, that Eight of Cups is there. You ended that burden. So let's see why this Ace of Swords is there. Why? Let's show me why this Ace of Swords is here for my Aries. Excuse me. Aries. I said Aries. Excuse me. For my Scorpios. Why is the Ace of Swords here for my Scorpios? Show me Spirit Guys. Five of Pentacles. Scorp. Now because you, you told them the truth, you feel like you're not worthy. You feel like you're not good enough for whatever else because you told them the truth. You told them that you weren't in it to win it like that. And now you're feeling those those um, feelings of you're not worthy. You don't have enough money or you're just not good enough. You have that, um, you know, just the down and out. You're just not worthy. You're just not worthy. And that's how you're feeling right now, Scorpio. It's a very intense feeling too. But the Ace of Swords because you've been truthful with yourself. You've been truthful with yourself and now you're feeling unworthy. So let's see why this Queen of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Huh. The Emperor card. Could be an Aries person. I just mentioned Aries. I don't know. This person could have Aries in their chart. I'm not quite sure. But the Emperor is someone that wants to control. They want to control. They control their kingdom. They control everything. And I'm going to tell you what I think, Scorpio. This is you trying to, con even though the emperor can be an Aries person, can be anyone, you are trying to control yourself. You're trying to control things. Because here, you've got the truth here, but now you're feeling unworthy. But now you know you, your Queen of Cups energy is there because you actually are in love with someone else. Because the emperor is here. And you know, <laughs> the emperor is the control. But the emperor is telling you that you know that you're in love with someone, so what do you do? What do you do? You did end this situation, so what do you do next? So let's see. You got the justice card here with the three of pentacles. You were having meetings, getting together, getting ready, dipping and doing, getting ready, getting married. Justice card to me is all about legality, um, getting married. Then you have this ace of wands, which is a new beginning because you know why? You, um, this particular person you did not marry and you called it off. Because you have the Ace of Wands here, which is a new beginning. But then you have the Six of Pentacles that is here. And the Six of Pentacles is all, always about um, trying to gather yourself to get your balance. But you also don't want to take advantage of this person. And that is a problem for you. And then you have the Eight of Cups because you walked away because this relationship was nothing but a burden to you. You were just playing. Then the Ace of Swords is the truth card for you. And the Five of Pentacles means, Five of Pentacles here means you feel like you're unworthy. But then the Queen of Cups is there because... You actually are in love with someone else and that emperor, 
You want to control it, though. That is the problem. Your ego is in the way because you want to control how you relate to this other person. So let's see, spirit guys. Um, show me, show me, spirit guys. What do my oracle cards want to tell Sagittarius? Okay. Oh, forgiveness and understanding. That definitely fits you, doesn't it, right now, uh, Scorpio? If you've made this and broke it off with someone, but you still want to control it, like I said, but you are not in love with this person here, you want forgiveness and understanding. And that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading score.